What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to point out this huge opportunity because the CDC just recommended everybody avoid cruises, vaccinated or not, avoid cruises at all costs. Now, this is gonna be a huge opportunity for you if you wanna go on a cruise and this could be a huge opportunity for you to make some easy money by investing in some of these stocks. So, if you have yet to invest any money, you do not know where to go, I'll put a link down in the description box below. Go and sign up to a free app, it's called Webull. Now, Webull is offering this promotion. You sign up, do not have to deposit any money, they'll give you five free stocks valued up to $8,300. So, make sure you use that link down in the description box below. But here's what we know. So if you've been looking at taking a cruise anytime in the near future, or again, if you just wanna make some easy money, what the CDC just recommended is going to be a huge opportunity for you. I've already been looking into some of these stocks. I've already been looking into cruises. I plan on taking some of this, uh, some of this news and using it to my benefit. So I'll address that in just a minute. But first, let's talk about what the CDC just said. The CDC just said, and I quote, avoid cruise travel regardless of vaccination status. Then they went on to say, getting vaccinated is still the best way to protect yourself from severe disease, slow the spread of COVID-19 and reduce the number of new variants. Key word, reduce the number of new variants. That's what experts are most worried about. Not of Omicron, Delta was more severe more deadly, Omicron just spreads faster. Their worry is, what if those two were to combine somehow and we have a very rapid spreading, deadly virus? That would be insane. That would really crush a lot of people and it would crush a lot of economies. But here's what I can tell you. Even with vaccines, people are still contracting the virus. I know a bunch of people that have received both their vaccines and the booster, and they still contract the virus. Get very, very few symptoms, if any, but still contract the virus. But as of this morning, 91 ships were facing CDC probes uh, into COVID cases. And even uh, Senator, uh, Senate Democrat Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut, he had this to say, and you know it's not good when any senator decides to chime in on something when they are on a recess, they're on a break, they're at, their, they're at their homes, spending time with their families. Well, he decided to say this, and I quote, time for CDC and cruise lines to, put, to protect consumers and again pause docking their ships. Cruises are repeating recent history as petri dishes of COVID infection. That is not a good statement when he is calling for the CDC and cruise lines to protect consumers and again, pause, do not dock and just, just dock their ships. Do not even put their ships out into open water. Now, over the past week, here's, what's has, here's what has actually happened. Multiple ships have been turned away from uh, multiple different ports due to their onboard infections. Carnival Cruise, uh, or the Carnival um, Freedom was actually turned away from a Caribbean port we know that about 1,035 passengers were stranded on board the Holland America off the coast of Puerto Vallarta, uh, and this was due to 21 crew members testing positive. So this was the true, the crew members tested positive, so none of the passengers could get off. They had to stay on the ship, on the, on the coast of Puerto Vallarta. They could not even come into the port. So here's where your multiple huge opportunities come in. I'm expecting the CDC doesn't relax their stance on cruises, uh, at least any time over the next two to three weeks. If anything, I would assume their call to pause cruises actually gets stronger. And once lawmakers come back to Washington in a week from today, I would assume those calls get really strong and the CDC could potentially pause all cruises. Now, that's going to be a huge opportunity. So be on the lookout for new reports of what the, the cruise industry is going through, what's happening. And I promise I will do my part and fill you in on these updates as we get them. But every time we see a, a surge in new COVID cases, 
the cruise lines, their stocks tend to drop, which is great for an investor if you have money to buy in. Here's the reason why it's a good thing if you're looking for an incredible deal. Because currently, a typical cruise, uh, or at least the, the base ticket price, costs about $150 a day per person. Now, what you need to keep in mind is there's still onboard spending as well, and $150 per day does not include that. But when we see these surges happen, I've seen this so many times over the past, well, really over the past like 21 months, but even over the past year, you can often find, uh, oftentimes find ticket prices, base ticket prices for under $100 per day, and sometimes as low as like $50 to $60 per day per person. That's a huge opportunity for somebody that wants to go on a cruise. Now, I don't have a desire to go on a cruise right now, but let's say I can buy a ticket and I can get it for, you know, let's say $80 to $100 per day per person, and I can get that and I can book it out into the, let's say the summer of 2022. That might be a great opportunity. Now, I'm not telling you this so that you go out there, book a cruise and potentially give yourself COVID. I'm telling you this because experts are anticipating that come mid-March, that could be the, the bottom of this Omicron surge. And therefore, the spring and even the summer could be an incredible time to take a cruise. But here's what you need to keep in mind. The American people are going to have more money saved up because, well, what are they spending it on? There's a lot of stuff that's just out of stock. There's things that you just can't buy. So the American people have more money saved up right now than ever before. The other issue is when this Omicron surge is over, guess what? The American people are going to want to travel. They want to go somewhere. They want to spend their hard-earned money. So they will. But here's where another huge opportunity comes in. And this is one that I am going to take advantage of. I watch this closely every single day, and I want to address what you can do. When news came out today that the CDC recommended nobody go on a cruise, this started to send the cruise stocks down. Okay, Nor Norwegian Cruise Line, right? Royal Caribbean, uh, Carnival Cruise Lines, right? All the different stocks. They started to somewhat drop. Now, I didn't, I didn't buy anything right away, and I, I don't plan on buying anything today. Uh, I don't plan on buying anything tomorrow unless more reports come out. I plan on buying next week because I would assume next week when we see COVID cases really ramp up, when we see more cruise ships get denied at the ports, I would assume people are going to start to cancel their, their cruises. They're going to try to uh, either uh, get them moved, get them delayed, and this could ultimately hurt the cruise industry. But... Here's what I know. The CDC will likely, and Congress as well, are likely going to try to step in and pause uh, cruises from happening right now. Okay, I would assume they try to step in and, and do whatever they can to ensure the COVID spread doesn't happen any faster because they're calling uh, cruise ships a petri dish. Now, as I anticipate this weekend, we, we're going we're gonna to see a lot more news and if we continue to see record cases, like is expected, then I would assume cruises will see pauses at certain destinations. And when we see pauses at certain destinations, or certain cruises because they go to a specific destination, if they have to change that destination and ultimately change the entire itinerary, that could potentially get many people to just pull out, not want to take it. So I would assume over the next couple of weeks, if, this, if the, these rumors are true that the CDC wants to pause cruise ships, I could see a big dip, okay? Now, let me explain to you where I plan on buying, uh, like Carnival Cruise Line, Norwegian Cruise Line, and even Royal Caribbean. So here's what I expect to happen. Be ready for some good deals on stocks, okay? Like Carnival Cruise Line. It's currently, I believe, right around $20. Uh, could be mid-20s. Uh, I'm not going to give an exact price because it fluctuates every second, but I would buy in if it reaches back to that $17, $18 range like it did in early December. And remember, early December was when we started getting all these talks about Omicron. So if it gets back to that $17, $18 range, I'm going to start buying it. If it gets into the, let's say the, I'd say the up, the mid to upper 18s, 
$18.50 to $19. I'll start to nibble in just a little bit. If it drops below $18, I'll buy in a little bit heavier. If it drops below $17, I'll buy in a little bit more. Okay. As far as Norwegian Cruise Lines, if it drops into the $18 to $19 range, I'll start buying there. Right now, it's right about $21. Yeah, it's right about $21. So just understand, you know, you can make some decent money. You can make some decent money. You can easily make, you know, uh, you know, 10, 15 percent if you were buying in about $18 and it and it jumps back up to about that $20, $21 range. So just keep that in mind. I'm buying. I'll be buying this one about the $18 to $19 range. As for Royal Caribbean, honestly, $78 is not a bad price. But why would I want to overpay for something when I could easily get a $10 discount, right? So. If this drops into that 65 to the 67.50 range, I'll start buying in. I'll buy in pretty heavy because I would assume if I can buy in, let's say it's at $67 and it's currently trading at 78, my assumption is in the spring, it could well it could easily be in to the 80, 90 dollar range, okay, this spring. So buy something like 65, 68 bucks that's going to jump up to the, the $90 range, possibly in the spring or summertime, that's a great deal. Honestly, that's a great deal. So that's currently what I'm doing. I'm not saying go out there and buy the things that I'm buying and at the ranges I'm buying. Again, this is what I'm looking at. But if uh, you have something else that could potentially have a better return, great. Go and buy that. All right. So that's what we know right now. I just wanted to fill you in on this huge opportunity because of what the CDC just recommended. But again, if you have any questions whatsoever, comment down in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible or I will just create another video to answer your exact question. So again, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.